Hi everybody, I'm Dan. This is Ron, our field CTO. We're here to talk about the power of our labeling system at Illumio. And so, let's dive in, Ron. Yeah, let's go. So tell me about labels. What are they and how are they, why, why are they so important? Yeah, labels are the foundation of everything that we do in Illumio. Labels are how we organize workloads to draw the map that shows connectivity in and out of each of your applications. And labels are how we express security policy. Um, one of the key things to know about Illumio is that you do not write security policies using IP addresses you write security policies using labels. Um, and you know the reason will become clear if I ask you, uh, tell me the IP addresses of your North America Active Directory servers. Um, probably you don't have them memorized, right? Um, if you use firewalls to control access to your environment, all of those policies are based only on IP addresses, which means you need to know them, you need to maintain them if they change, um, you need to know if a, an endpoint changes function or if a migration happens and changes an IP address. Um, it's a lot of maintenance burden, and a lot of breaches happen because of firewall rules written against IP addresses that become stale. Illumio's policies using labels work differently. You write a policy that says, my application server can talk to my database server, and we know the IP addresses and we compute the policy based on uh, what we know from the IP addresses and what you tell us of a policy that's easy to manage and easy to understand. If you write a security policy in a firewall using an IP address, that IP address is gonna be the same forever until you come and change it. Um, our policy based on labels is able to react to change in your environment. If you write a policy that says, my application servers can talk to my database servers, and you add a database server for capacity reasons, or you migrate from on-premise to a cloud provider, um, or if you decommission a workload that is not being used, your security policy is automatically gonna reflect that change, and you don't ever need to know or worry about the IP addresses. So it sounds like, is this labeling system much like security groups? Nope. Sounds like it. The key differentiator between labels and security groups is that our labeled model is multi-dimensional. So these four different labels, role, environment, application, and location, each have their own independent usage in the policy model. So you can write one policy that says, all of my North America workloads can talk to my North America Active Directory server, and another policy that says my production app server can talk to my production databases, and unlike security groups, which are a flat model, we will take all of the overlap and intersection of these labels into effect when we compute your policy. So tell me about the label, label data. Where does it come from? Yeah. So if you are a large organization and maybe you have a CMDB or config management database, which is a catalog of all your workloads, we can integrate with that and uh, changes can go back and forth in real time. Um, a lot of our customers are not yet at that point. Um, maybe you have uh, an Excel spreadsheet that has a list of your endpoints. Maybe you have a naming convention for your hosts. Maybe you just have a person who's been around for a long time and who knows what some of these workloads do, right? Um, so to get started, we can take label data from a variety of these different sources and kind of seed your initial set of, of label data. And then over time, the goal is to refine that um, and to integrate with the other systems that you have in place. We don't want to be another source of data. We want to, we want to work with whatever you have within your organization. So say I have a CMDB, but it's not totally accurate. Is that a problem? Your CMDB is not totally accurate. We hear this from everybody. Nobody's CMDB is accurate. Um, and honestly, why would it be, right? Um, so most of our customers, our larger customers, have CMDBs with data that's used for reporting or that's used for informational purposes. It has no operational dependencies and no expectation that it's going to be accurate. And this is a very common concern. You do not need 100% accurate CMDB to get started with Illumio. Um, in practice, we see 50 to 80% confidence is common. Some of our customers are significantly lower than that. Um, so what you'll do is refine that label data over time. Um, once you start to build operational dependencies on your label data in your CMDB, um, then you have an incentive and a process to keep it accurate. Uh, and as a side effect, you end up largely improving the quality of the data in your CMDB through that process. Thank you.